Okay, now we're recording. Let's review what we've done. We've tried to come up with some definitions for perspective, point of view, and voice. We determined that perspective is a person's own personal uh, opinion about things, the own your own view, your own interpretation based on your own uh, experiences. Point of view is a literary term for who's telling the story, who's narrating the story, often referred to as first person when you tell a story like I, or second person when you use the word you, or third person if you're describing all the characters as he and she. The narrator's voice is the, you can hear the narrator telling the story using their own words and their own attitudes, right? Sometimes the author's voice comes through. You can hear the author's voice, the author's own words. Sometimes on purpose, the author will make a comment uh, and not as the narrator using a different voice. And you can hear that sometimes. And then you have the character's perspective or the character's voice and that own character brings in a different voice. So for instance, in um, uh, Once Upon a Time, you heard the narrator's voice telling the story. Uh, you had the author starting off telling the story, but then the narrator took over the, the fairy tale. And then you had the different characters having uh, uh, making different comments. And so you could hear their voices. And then overall, the story had a tone. Uh, was it a happy tone? Was it a sarcastic tone? Was it serious? And really, the story was supposed to be a fairy tale, so it should have been kind of happy or fun or playful or something. But instead, the tone was very serious because of the, the nature of the violence and everything in the story. Uh, the authorial intent is what the author is trying to get across, the, the message that they're trying to get across. And uh, Obviously, in that story, she, having experienced racism in her country, was trying to say something about racism and violence. Now, it is possible that an author has an intent, and then the story comes across a different way. For instance, if you're listening to pop music, current music, maybe the person writing the story meant one thing. Maybe the person selling or singing the story meant another thing. But when you hear it, maybe you actually hear a completely different thing that the author or the singer or the artist did not intend. And it often happens that, you know, once an author writes a book or a story, it's no longer in their control and the readers may read it completely differently than they intended. Okay, themes are the topics or the ideas, uh, the messages of a narrative often about human nature, about what humans are like, how violent we are, or how loving we are, or, or how uh, delusional we are, right? So we're looking for themes and stories. All right, let's talk about all these answers. You're going to be able to take um, all the answers that we have written down and put them in your document and also finish filling out your document on your own. Uh, the perspective of faith cure man um, even though the person in the story believes in faith cure, in praying for uh, making someone well, you can tell that the narrator has a, uh, a perspective on that because uh, he's doubting uh, whether or not that that should be true. And once upon a time, you have the, uh, the, the author and you're wondering whether or not the story is told in her perspective. The author is a black woman living in South Africa during the time of uh, apartheid, which was a, uh, it was a government run by all the rich white people. And uh, uh, all the rich white people mm -hmm. took all the land and all the, uh, the money out of the country or took it for themselves. And all the, the inhabitants of the country, all the black inhabitants were, who were there beforehand ended up getting no money. And, uh, and so that system eventually caused rioting uh, so you have to wonder, is the perspective from her viewpoint as a, uh, a black woman living in the country and not having all these, this wealth, maybe she's looking at it and, and, and saying how uh, the violence has affected her. And also, interestingly enough, she talks about how the violence has affected the whites as well. Uh, point of view in the story. Uh, Faith Cure Man is totally a uh, third person. He, she, 
even though we get to hear the characters talking, it's all told from the third person. Well, Once Upon a Time starts off in first person, and then halfway through the story, it switches to third person. Um, and so, you know, the intrusion of the author is always there. We always hear the author's voice, even when it goes into third person. Um, the narrator's voice in Faith Cure Man, you can tell he's doubtful about uh, faith curing. And in Once Upon a Time, you can t hear the narrator's voice in the fairy tale. But it's supposed to sound like a fairy tale, but you can hear the irony. You can hear the the sarcasm. We don't know whether the author's voice comes through in Faith Cure Man, uh, but you wonder whether or not he uh, also uh, wonders about, you know, belief in faith cure. And even uh, uh, we know that he's a black author, but we wonder his main character is a black character, and we wonder is he questioning the way that she's thinking? Uh, so it's interesting to try to find the author's voice in that story. And of course, in Once Upon a Time, the author's voice comes through pretty clearly. You can hear her, her opinion. And then you have character's perspective. Notice in Faith Cure Man that the main character, I think her name was Martha, her perspective was that the faith would, would work. And in the end, when her daughter dies, she wonders, like, did I not believe, you know, strong enough? And she takes it on as her own fault. And in Once Upon a Time, uh, you have the whites thinking that they were protecting themselves by, you know, erecting walls and security measures, where in reality, what happened was they were actually imprisoning themselves and ended up, their, their son ended up dead because of their security measures. Uh, the tone in Faith Cure Man, uh, is he being sarcastic? And obviously, in Once Upon a Time, there is, uh, there, there is uh, irony and cynicism uh, in in the way the story is told. So the authorial intent, you'd have to guess, where it was the author trying to say something about uh, belief and faith. In Once Upon a Time, uh, you have to guess, is the author trying to say something about apartheid, racism, violence, oppression? Uh, and then, of course, the themes, uh, they're related to all the things we've talked about in Faith Cure Man. Uh, they're talking about religion, they're talking about belief, they're talking about superstition, they're talking about faith, uh, they're talking about self-delusion. Uh, in Once Upon a Time, talking about racism and violence and oppression, and uh, even, uh, interestingly enough, how oppression turns on the oppressor themselves. Uh, so you're going to take this document that we worked on, you're going to go back to the assignment, will go back yes and you'll notice that underneath this blue link that we've been working on there's your own copy so if you open your own copy you can then turn and copy anything that you got from your your uh, you know classmates anything that they put in here if you want to use it you can copy it and paste it into yours then finish your document and turn it in do I have any questions out there